Guess what we're doing today? We got an extra dog helping us. This is Nora. She's from Paul Record. We're watching her for the weekend. She's gonna help us and today, no joke you guys, we're gonna make fidget spinner dog treats. One of you, actually a few of you, suggested this down in the comments of our most recent video and we thought, you know what? Let's see what we can come up with for fidget spinner dog treats. I don't know if they're gonna spin, but they'll look cool. Let's make them. Hi, Nora. You wanna make some treats with us? Sounds like a plan. So yes, we really are gonna make fidget spinner treats. Again, I don't know if they'll spin or not. <laughs> if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, go on down there and click that bell, turn on all notifications to make sure you don't miss any of the other videos that we do. If you're looking for more treat videos, there will be a link up in the cards and down in the video description below. You can check out all of our, I think we've done 70 different treat videos up until this point, so you can check all those out. Again, if you are new, this is Oakley. That is Shelby. Memphis is down over here. And then this is Nora. And Nora is not our dog. She's from Paw Record. And if you want to see more of her, you can definitely go check that out. We're just watching her for the weekend. So she's joining us to make some treats. So let's get to making some fidget spinner dog treats. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out how you want to make your template for your fidget spinner. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Actually, there's probably more than two, but I'm gonna tell you two different ways you can do this. You can either take an existing fidget spinner that you already have, and when you get to the point when you roll out your dough, you can lay this on here, take a very sharp knife, and draw all the way around it. And then take, I'm gonna use a straw to poke out the little holes in the middle. So you can either do that, or you can make your own cookie cutter. Jamie made this for me, it's made out of a piece of aluminum. I've already washed it and what he did to make this was he took the piece of aluminum and he bent it around some caps for pop and he took and used needle nose pliers and just slowly bent it. So it kind of came out in the shape of a fidget spinner and this is what I'm gonna to use to cut out my treats. But once you figure out which way you are going to cut out your cookies, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to take and preheat your oven to 350. Next, we are going to mix all of our ingredients together. First, we have two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. It is two thirds of a cup of pure pumpkin. This is actually organic pumpkin. Would you like a bite of this? Oh my goodness, was that amazing? Hey, go, Nora. Nora is not sure what she thinks about that. Oakley's like, I would, I would take another bite of that. Memphis is like, I would take another bite of that. I love pumpkin. It's so good for me. How about Miss Shelby? Oh, almost. Did you see that? It was almost. Try again. Oh, there you go. Oh, see, I thought you liked pumpkin. Now we're gonna take the pumpkin. What's left of it? Is it two thirds of a cup now? Yeah, that's pretty good. They ate just enough. And we're gonna put that in the blender. Make sure you are using pure pumpkin. Uh, I'm using canned pumpkin. Libby's actually makes an organic 100% pure pumpkin. That's actually what I'm using. Next, you will need three tablespoons of peanut butter. Make sure that your peanut butter does not have xylitol in it. I'm actually using an all natural peanut butter that was made in Michigan. And it's so nice and creamy. Check that out. It's nice and creamy and it smells amazing. Three tablespoons going in the mixer. Lick a spoon. Oh my goodness. Lick a spoon. You're like, whoa. How are you? Lick a spoon? I knew you would like that. You're like, oh, I love peanut butter. How about you, Nora? Test it out. You don't know how to eat from a, sp <laughs> from a spoon. <laughs> Done your nose. Ah, you're adorable. And then two eggs. As always, if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you can just mix it together in a bowl like normal. And any of these things that you see us using in the video, including the KitchenAid mixer and my favorite rolling pin in the entire universe, favorite rolling pin ever, there will be affiliate links to these down in the video description below. So you can check those out. We're gonna mix together some dough. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's do it. So the dough should turn out just about Perfect. It's um should form it should be like play-doh. That's the best way to describe it. It actually forms a lot like play-doh. Now I'm gonna give you another tip. If you are going to just trace around your fidget spinner, I would 
flatten the dough out on your cookie sheet and stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes to firm it up a little bit because it'll help when you go to cut through it, it won't drag the dough so much. So if you're gonna do it that way, freeze the dough for about 10 minutes after you roll it all out. And we are going to roll it out to a quarter of an inch. That's why I love this rolling pin. Exactly, a quarter of an inch thickness to cut out these treats. So let's get to rolling out some dough. Wait, 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 wait. Wanna try some? Oh my. Wanna try some? Come on, up here. Can't try it unless you're up here. There you go. How about Nora? All right, how about Oakley? Oakley, have peanut butter on you. Oh, there's Miss Memphis trying to steal the ingredients. There you are, huh? They're trying to steal the ingredients now? We already put them all in the bowl. What are you gonna steal? <laughs> Always make sure to roll your dough in all directions so it is evenly rolled out. Here's the test. Fidget spinner, cookie cutter. <laughs> uh, well, I think that looks pretty perfect. Now, I am going to take a straw. You see how they have the little hole right here? I'm gonna take a straw and push that little piece out. And there, we have a fidget spinner cookie. Oops, starting to look just like a fidget spinner, right? I'm gonna decorate these more after they cook, but we're gonna go through and cut a bunch of these out. All right, there they are, all cut out, ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. We now have fidget spinner cookies. I left them in the oven on for 30 minutes and then I shut the oven off and I left them in there for about another hour or so. Now what you're gonna notice, I don't know if you can see this on here. Let's see if it'll focus all right. See how that's like bumped up a little bit? That's perfectly okay. Some of your treats are gonna be bumped up a little bit. Some of them are gonna be a little bit more flat. See, this one is a little bit more flatter. We're gonna show you what they're gonna do. So the ones that have the little bump will spin. <laughs> you can't really spin them, spin them like a regular fidget spinner, but that spins pretty good. Now if you take a look at these fidget spinners, they have these nice black circles right here. We are going to take a candy decorating pen and around our little holes on our fidget spinners for dogs, we're just gonna draw a nice little black line. <laughs> so there's the black little lines around each one. This one has the bump on it, so it doesn't really need anything else done to it as it spins on its own. This one does not have a bump on it. It spins, but not exactly like what we want, so we are going to add candy melting discs to each side of this. You can either use the candy melting discs the, or the um, yogurt melting discs. Both will work. If you have yogurt ones, use those because they're a little bit better. If you do this while the cookie is still a little bit warm, you can kind of just push them on there until they melt a little on the bottom and they'll stick. But I think these cookies are already a little bit too cooled off to make this work. So I'm gonna show you another way you can make this work. So we're gonna take a pair of tongs Take the flame, learn how to use it, light it, put it under there for just a second, and when it starts to melt, whoops, set it right on the spinner so you can see that it melted a little bit. Set it on there, push it down a little bit, and now let it dry and then do the other side. There you go, there you have it. That's a fidget spinner cookie for dogs and it actually spins there you go i think that spins pretty good what do you think maybe not as good as regular fidget spinner but it holds its own pretty good <laughs> that's so cool fidget spinners for dogs you guys we actually made fidget spinners for dogs now comes the real test. I mean, I guess the first real test was to see if they actually spun, and they did. The next test is to see what everybody thinks of them. Let's let them try some treats. All right, looks like Memphis, ah, ah, sit and wait. Wait is the first to try the fidget spinner. Ah, I gotta wait! I know, I said the fidget spinner dog cookie. Ready? Nice. Nice, that's very nice, very nice. 
What do you think? Is it delicious? Is that the greatest treat you ever had? I think Oakley wants one really bad. All right. Well, Memphis thinks it's a win. They did. They turned out nice and crunchy, just like we wanted. All right, Oakley is next. There you go. You got it. She almost dropped it. What do you think? You, you were supposed to spin it before you ate it. She's like, three good chomps. It was delicious. All right. Shelby's turn for a fidget spinner cookie. <laughs> Thanks, Beak. <laughs> Well, over here. Ready? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Here. Nice. Here, take a nice. Oh, you're the best at taking nice. But Shelby, of course, as always, is a dainty little eater. She's like, I will chew this cookie as I like. <laughs> uh, crunchy cookies. Crunchy cookies are good, huh? Oh, delicious. Now it's Nora's turn to have a fidget spinner treat. You ready? There you go. And you eat like Shelby. <laughs> super slow, super dainty. You can eat it. That's for you. What? Don't even want to spin it. I just, none of the dogs spun the treat before they ate it. I don't know what the deal is. Nora's like, I'm going to pull this red piece off and eat this first. That'll be delicious. Well, thanks to you guys' suggestions, we made fidget spinner dog treats and they turned out pretty good. If you guys have a suggestion on what we should make for our next video, <laughs> leave it down in the comments below and maybe we'll choose your suggestion for the next treat video. Right? What do you think? Were they delicious? And again, if you want to see more of Nora, you can find her at Paw Record and Press Record. You can also find her over on our vlog channel for the past couple days at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs because she stayed with us for a couple days, so you get to see these two cuties play in even more. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye, guys!